hello all welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see uh, how to derive an expression for discharge through a orifice meter in my earlier video i have shown you how to calculate discharge through venturi meter now we will see how to do discharge for orifice meter basically uh, venturi meter orifice meter and pitot tube are the applications of bernoulli's theorem out of which uh, venturi meter and orifice meter are used for calculating discharge whereas pitot tube is used for calculating velocity of flow uh, out of uh, venturi meter and orifice meter even though both are used for calculating the discharge or rate of flow uh, basically a uh, venturi meter is having three components convergent divergent and throat venturi meter is useful only for large volume of fluids means when there is lot of discharge to be uh, sent or to be flowed then we take the help of a venturi meter when the discharge is comparatively less we can adopt a orifice meter and also a uh, venturi meter is little complex in construction even it has less number of losses but uh, maintenance issues and uh, uh, venturi meter is little expensive when compared to orifice so keeping all the disadvantages of venturi meter in view we can adopt orifice meter and one more advantage of orifice meter is that uh, the space it takes basically venturi meter as i have told it con uh, contains of three components right uh, convergent diversion and throat so you require more area to accommodate in a pipe whereas orifice meter requires less area so keeping all these things in view wherever venturi meter is not possible to get fixed you can take a help of a orifice meter so basically orifice meter is useful for small pipelines as i told where uh, we have less discharges we can uh, quickly uh, take the help of a orifice meter for determining the discharge so basically uh, the word orifice technically the word orifice means a hole or a opening so orifice meter is that device which has a orifice plate inside or which has a orifice inside it so if you see the diagram uh, if you see this diagram so this is the outer uh, uh, part of the orifice meter and inside if you see this this one is the basic fitting for your orifice meter inside this there would be another uh, hole or a opening which is called as the orifice means like be um, uh, orifice plate it looks like this means two circles will be concentric with each other this one is called as orifice okay so if imagine the same to be in a vertical shape like this this is how it looks like so if we fit this orifice meter in between a pipeline to calculate the discharge and the two sections of the orifice meter will be connected to the two ends of the manometer to determine the pressure of water flowing through this orifice plate or orifice meter so where do we connect the two sections of the orifice meter if you see here you can see a green pipe here and a red pipe here so these two indicate two sections one section of the orifice meter is connected at the pipe or just before the entrance of the orifice means like this if you see this diagram here like this we are fitting the orifice correct for a pipeline so just before the water entering the uh, orifice the small inner orifice we've put one section and once the water comes out of the inner orifice we put the second section that is here okay i'll show you another figure this one so if you see there is a pipe of diameter d through which water is flowing and one section is connected at the entrance or just before the entrance of the orifice plate one is after the orifice plate and if you see this part is called as vena contractor what does vena contractor mean so this place is called as vena contractor vena contractor is that place where once the water or any fluid enters into a uh, any small openings and before and once it comes out through this opening after traveling it comes out right before it gets disperses the area decreases that only is called as vena contractor means even after coming out of the hole also up, up to some point the water will be in the same shape of that contraction that is only called as vena contractor so at the vena contractor we put up the second section one is just before the orifice plate and second is at the vena contractor so you can see here this is one and this is two okay 
and the two outlets of i mean the outlets of section 1 will be one outlet of the section 1 will be connected to first i mean to the orifice meter and one to the manometer and uh, second section one outlet of the second section will be connected at the vena contractor and the second one will be connected at the second tapping of the youtube manometer so what is flowing with the pressure right so that pressure will be shown as mercury level reading in the youtube manometer so as i've told orifice meter is also called as orifice plate or pipe orifice so it can be installed in any pipeline with uh, less trouble and less expensive and also less maintenance it is used for calculating the rate of flow that is nothing but q same like venturi meter and basic components of orifice meter consist of a circular plate this circular plate only we are calling it as orifice and uh, this orifice whatever i have told the inside circles this is called as orifice right and this dia of this orifice okay the dia of this orifice will be generally 0.4 to 0.8 times the pipe diameter means if the complete dia of the pipe is let's say some capital d the dia of this orifice which is inside will be around 0.4 d to 0.8 d and most of the times we take 0.5 means exactly half so that's what is written here so let us uh, go with the expression for discharge as i have told we are connecting two sections just before the orifice water entering the orifice second is at the vena contractor so d1 is the diameter at section 1 means before the water entering the orifice plate so it will be the diameter of the pipe itself p1 is the pressure at section 1 v1 is the velocity at section 1 a1 is the area of cross section so this will be equal to simply pi by 4 of d1 square d1 is the dia of the pipe and similarly d2 p2 v2 a2 are the corresponding values at section 2 now we have two sections so as i have told orifice meter is the application of bernoulli's theorem we will apply bernoulli's equation at both the sections so once we apply Bernoulli's equation on both the sections, what is Bernoulli's theorem? P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. We know that the pipe is horizontal, right? The orifice meter is horizontal. Means uh, the orifice meter is something like this. So with respect to any reference if I take, section 1 and section 2 will be at the same height. So Z1 will be equal to z2 so once z1 will be equal to z2 what does this equation turn out to these two will get cancelled p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g okay get all the pressure terms on one side and velocity terms on the other side so we have finally p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g is equal to v2 square by 2g this is not there so p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g will be v2 square minus v1 square by 2g we already know that p1 by rho g is pressure head and P2 by rho g is also pressure rate. So P1 minus P2 by rho g is called as difference in pressure rate which is given by manometer reading which is H. So H is equal to V2 square by 2g by V1 square by 2g as we have seen the same in Venturi meter. So from here what we are doing is we are trying to write the value of V2. So if you see this from here what we can write V2 square minus V1 square is equal to what 2gh. So from here I can write V2 square as 2gh plus V1 square. So if I write only V2, it will be under root of 2GH plus V1 square. That's what we have written here. I'm writing V2. So next I will calculate the value of discharge. Uh, before going to discharge, we already learned about continuity equation. Continuity equation says that discharge inflow is equal to discharge outflow, which means A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So from here, we have already seen hydraulic coefficients also. Hydraulic coefficients have taught about coefficient of contraction coefficient of contraction is the ratio of area of the jet uh, at the vena contractor by area of the orifice so it is a2 by a0 so from here i will write a2 as cc into a0 now if i apply the continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 in this wherever it is a2 i will substitute cc into a0 so now what does this equation turn out to this equation becomes a1 v1 is equal to cc a0 v2 from here i am writing only v1 as cc a0 v2 by a1 that's what is written here okay but just now we have seen what is v2 so we will substitute the value of v2 here so what does v1 will become uh, the once you substitute the value of v2 
we will get the complete equation in this form and just we have to write v2 now we will write discharge discharge is either you can apply a1 v1 or you can apply a2 v2 i am applying a2 v2 because i know the value of v2 so if you substitute you will get the q value to be like this but if you see in this equation of q we have a0 which is area of the orifice okay you will know because you know the diameter of the orifice you can calculate area you have cc here you have cc square so something which is not required for us at this point of time we we talk when we are talking about discharge we talk about the term cd especially so for this what i am trying to do is i am trying to take out the relationship between cd and cc that is this formula so this formula gives us the relationship between cd and cc and now in the place of cc wherever there is cc i am substituting this formula okay so once if i substitute and simplify i'll get the value of q as cd into so this is q actual cd into a naught a1 root 2 gh by under root of a1 square minus a2 square in venturi meter we write a1 a2 here we write a1 a naught a1 is area of the pipe a naught is area of the orifice the inner one what we know okay so like this we will calculate the value of discharge through orifice meter so only three points we have to remember in mind first is applying Bernoulli's equation at the two sections then from there writing the value of v2 once you know the value of v2 keep it aside take out continuity equation and try to calculate the value of v2 and then again substitute both in discharge formula of a2 v2 then you take the third step is taking the relationship between cd and cc and substituting cc in q to get this final equation okay it's very simple so this is how you need to calculate the discharge for a orifice meter you all understood the video thanks for watching